All right guys, so a little bit of a different video today. We haven't really talked much about GoPro cameras, but as someone who rides a motorcycle uh, and on occasion likes to film some of our rides and do things like that, I've been a big fan of just action cameras in general. So it was only this past year that I actually bought my very first GoPro, which was this guy right here, the, the GoPro Hero 7. So I've been super happy with this. So some of the rumors that are out now are talking about the GoPro Hero 9. And really the biggest questions I think is, is there a big enough change or difference that warrants you and I that have, let's say a GoPro Hero 6 or 7, or maybe even an 8 to warrant going to a 9? It's an action camera. Is what we have good enough? Is there anything that GoPro can do now to spice up that marketplace? It's a pretty saturated market. So we're gonna take a look on some websites because there were some leaks in the last few days, week, something like that. So this first one actually came out August 31st and it's from The Verge. And they were one of the first that I looked at that talked about there being a new GoPro Hero 9 Black with a front facing screen. Now that's a big one. And the DJI Osmo Mobile was the first action camera to really give us a screen on the front. Now the big perk of that of course was there are a lot of people that use action cameras almost like a vlogging camera especially if it has any kind of external mic support and having that screen on the front helped us be able to make sure that we framed everything when we shot this way because a lot of action cameras are losing some market i would think to smartphones smartphone quality in their video has become so good right now and we're seeing cameras on let's say the iphone and all kinds of android devices Having these ultra wides, which are just as wide as let's say a GoPro or an Osmo Mobile or any of these, 150, 170 degrees of viewing. But the problem with a smartphone, of course, is that when we want to shoot ourselves, we end up using the front facing camera and that one's not near as good as the rear facing camera. So getting something like a GoPro that has a front screen, which allows us to use that primary camera to shoot ourselves is a big perk. And it's something that the Osmo Action, I kept calling it the mobile, but the Osmo Action has capitalized on, as well as a budget camera company, a Caso, has their Brave 7 LE, which has a front facing screen as well. So you can use that primary camera to get as much quality as you can when you're in that kind of vlogging scenario. So kind of cool that they're doing this. And I think that's kind of important. And something that I think they should have been looking at maybe in the eight, because I didn't see a big change in eight. Now, the other big one here you'll see here is the Hero Lines recording quality going from 4K to 5K. Is that a big deal? Maybe, um, I, I'm not 100% sure how useful it is for those that are doing, let's say, action sports or gonna be vlogging, etc. getting that extra K from 4K to 5K. Is it big? I don't know, if they have to do anything to add extra compression and take away the quality. I'd rather have that quality versus a higher resolution because more resolution isn't always better unless they do it well. But we won't know until this actually comes out to market and somebody gets to actually see that 5K quality. But their 4K is quite good, without question. Not bad at all. So more recently, we heard some updated rumors, leaks, I guess, in regards to the GoPro Hero 9. And the big one was in regards to packaging. So. Over on Drone DJ, which is dronedj.com, if you guys want to go look at this, um, there were a bunch of specs actually released. So, new GoPro will feature a sensor capable of taking 20 megapixel stills. Cool. Hopefully, all the raw stuff is still there, which would be good. Uh, video at 5K, 30 frames per second. It will also be able to shoot in slow motion at up to 240 frames per second or eight times. The Hero 9 will feature voice control and is waterproof to 33 feet. Uh, will feature improved HyperSmooth 3.0. And I must say, I haven't seen the 8, but I have, again, the GoPro Hero 7 Black, and that HyperSmooth is really good. It was one of the main selling features for me, as well as the fact that it was waterproof without actually an additional case. So those were the two that were big. Uh, of course, the Hero 9 will feature the rear touchscreen and a brand new front display for easy framing and vlog style recording will come with a new time warp 3.0 and improvement over 2.0 because if they made it worse then that's kind of silly i guess 
uh, you will also be able to do live stream from the camera right out of the box so that's also really cool now the downfall of this here's a bit of the downfall and i kind of get it in regards to the fact that when you have a camera that's going to be producing possibly 5k footage and have an additional screen that's full color and be able to process an actual image, not just having text on it, it requires a bigger battery. So one of the things here is the GoPro Hero 9 will feature a 1720 milliamp battery, which is almost 41% larger than the current battery, which is only 1220 milliamp hours. This means a slight increase in battery life, but is likely for the 20 megapixel capable sensor. So it doesn't necessarily mean that the camera will be able to run longer by any means with this. It may just need a bigger battery so that it can run kind of the same and just be able to power, like they said, that sensor in there. Especially if they're trying to get 5K, that's gonna be fairly, like I said, power hungry. And if we're going to be powering a front facing screen, that's also gonna be it. Last one that we see here, which is kind of cool actually, is the packaging. So I've got a screen here that shows the packaging much cleaner. And you can see on the back of the box here, 20 megapixels, 5K 30, 4K 60, 1080p 240. So there you go, 1080p 240, 4K 60, 5K 30. Uh, 33 foot waterproof, voice control, slow motion, data overlays. I do like the data overlays. That would be cool, especially for riding the bike. Uh, Time Warp 3.0, 1080p live streaming, Super Photo HDR, RAW mode, so that's excellent, webcam mode, touchscreen, and Hyper Smooth 3.0. So you will also see here on this, which is a close-up of the box, right here in this area, gimbal-like stabilization. Again, I never played with Hyper Smooth 2, but if it is, again, a huge increase over 2 as 2 was to 1, um, that's, that's gonna be pretty awesome. And I'm curious to see what kind of price point this thing hits at. Again, that market is super saturated, so we gotta make sure that that price point is gonna be friendly enough for us that have an accumulation of action cameras, and we're just like, I don't necessarily need another one. Sure, there's some extra features, but is it worth me spending X amount of dollars to get them when it's just kind of gravy, you know? I do believe this market is so saturated now that if we have these action cameras, especially if you're just doing it to record whatever, how much do you need to spend on one? So cool features without question, but is it is it like a small increment? Do most people even care? I don't know. You guys, would you be looking at a GoPro Hero 9 if you already had a GoPro Hero 6, 7, or 8? I get it if you don't have a GoPro and this is gonna be your first action camera. You might as well just hop on the bandwagon and get whatever's best out there. But if you have one, do you need to necessarily get a better one? I don't know. And one last thing, because I wanted to show you this. This is another screenshot before we go. Right here, and this is the new battery, they're saying, plus the actual new battery charger. So again, for those of us that have a bunch of batteries and a bunch of battery chargers, guess what? No good. You and me are both gonna have to just go and buy a whole bunch of new batteries because up until this point, our batteries were kind of interchangeable. Chargers were interchangeable. Not anymore. So that kind of sucks, a whole bunch. All right guys, I'm gonna leave you there. Um, GoPro, what do you think? How many of you actually use GoPros? Or do you use a different brand and you're quite happy with the brand that you are using already? Or is this even of interest to any of you out there? I don't know. I'm curious. I don't know if I'll get it, but I'm curious. All right, my friends, I'm going to leave you there. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you again next video coming up tomorrow sometime. All right, guys, later.